Hi, welcome back. I'm Melissa. And I'm Tommy, and this is Tommy and Melissa Reviews. And today we are going to try um, the Atkins Creamy Root Beer Float Protein Drink. It's brand new. It's brand new. Um, so there's 15 grams of protein in it. Um, it says it's two uh, net carbs. Oh, well, nets. How many max or total? Seven. Seven? Yeah, but there's five grams of fiber. Oh. So we've had it in the fridge. It's going to be cool, but I thought we could do a little shot of it so we could just both try it. Yeah, give it a run. What is it? Rocky ro no. No, Root Beer Float. Creamy. Root beer Creamier, float. Creamy Root Beer Float. So I'm going to open that up. How's it smell? Mm, like a protein drink. Yeah? Yeah. I always worry about these RTDs ready to drinks yeah um because the stuff settles at the bottom yeah so you'll be drinking it along and then next thing you know you go to have the last little bit and you get the powder yeah so i think if you're going to make a ready to drink it should be pre-mixed and then put in the bottle not the powders put in the bottle and then put the drink and then you're supposed to yeah shake it yeah all right oh it does yeah. not smell good <laughs> so as i said it smells like a protein drink it doesn't, wow. I don't even smell root beer. I smell no. like, like it smells like I don't want to drink it. All right, okay. here we go. Here we go. Oh, it tastes root beer. Yeah, it's got like that A&W feel to it. Yeah, it's a little bit of like the ice cream that's melted in it. Yeah. It tastes better than it smells, oh, that's yes, for it's, sure. <laughs> it does not smell yeah, good. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. But... Not bad. Yeah, it's uh well, I mean, I would give it I'll give it six ghosts out of ten. Yeah, I give it a six as well, just because um I do have my favorites. Um and I usually like my protein drinks just to have a little bit more uh protein honestly, but it's fifteen grams, so that's good. Yeah, I mean it's low net carb. Um seven grams is still nothing to really shy away from because right. usually most people allow like twenty grams. Uh, in their day, and that's net. Um, if you're really being strict, twenty, you know, total, not net, and uh, that you know at least gives you around three for the day. You're exceeding by one for the thing, but you usually replace two meals um, with these, so that's great. Um, I would probably, if I were gonna go on like a protein shake diet, I would probably put this in the rotation. Yeah. But if you were looking to like, no, I'm just looking for one flavor that I'm just going to have consistently every day. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't do, I couldn't do that. No. Like this would be cool to shake it up. Yeah. To like to throw in some, you know, cause you're maybe, yeah, the same kind of every day. I like salsa caramel myself. Yeah. I like the chai. The chai um, oh, is pretty good. Uh, I almost said chai latte, but it's not chai latte. It's just a chai, chai. of some sort. That one's pretty decent. Um, but like, if I look at the basics, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, I would take all three of those over this one. <laughs> I, w I would, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's not great. No. And it does offer some versatility. Yeah. I mean, it does have the flavors. The flavors come through. Don't smell it first. If you don't want to smell it first, but I like to smell things. Yeah. So. And, and some would argue they all smell the same anyway. So you yeah. can't really base it off that. So equal argument, but you would think with something with root beer, you'd at least get that standout smell and for for me i didn't i didn't yeah so but if you like the video we'd love it if you'd give us a thumbs up if you want to know when we're coming out with new content hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified ring that bell all right guys well until next time bye we'll see you later